uh, why i consider cpr indicator as the king of price action trading so might be using something else also to narrow down your entries also uh no uh, when we are uh, using the cpr indicator that itself is self sufficient now coming to the entry and exit part now how to apply the cpr indicator for your entries and exits i can cover in this particular uh, uh, example basically this is a scalping method where you have to be very fast with your entries and exit so you uh, apply this particular method of cpr on options also all calculations that cpr and um, uh, we have to use um weekly cpr on the hourly cpr or we have to use the monthly cpr on the daily chart daily yes these yes. are the settings that you have found over a period of time or this is how cpr was supposed to work how the intricacies of the time frame worked with it at what time frame i have to look at what thing that Got that's it. why this particular question how can a mathematical formula decide that yep. what is going to act as an r1 and an r2 s1 or an s2 this is how i apply personally uh, the cpr indicator so so hi guys today we have gomati shankar with us who is famous for his cpr indicator and his trading style is uh, intraday and positional the strategy that we are going to share with you today is intraday as well as positional so over to you shankar how are you hi rohit i am doing good how are you fine it's so good to have you with us uh we have been doing a trader stock for the last you know couple of months now and uh the idea behind that trader stock is to get uh, strategies or traders which are going to remain fundamental to the nature of trading and that is why i uh, uh, send an invite to you and uh, thank you for joining us over well, to you now you can start me. your session okay all right thanks for having me rohit uh, so today i would like to talk about uh, why i consider cpr indicator as the king of price action trading so uh, before uh, we get into the session i would like to cover the some basics about what is price action trading and all so basically price action trading is uh, we take decisions uh, based on the price by looking at the price behavior by looking at the uh, by looking at the emotional influences from the buyer's perspective as well as from the seller's perspective and uh, mostly indicators will not be used by a price action trader and by by following price action trading you can do investing you can do swing trading as well as day trading and nowadays this price action trading has become most popular among all the traders across the globe so many people think that price action trading means we look at only the price or we look at only the candlestick pattern this is what people are having some general belief but uh, personally what i would say is uh, price action traders they do use indicators which is uh, which is more relying on prices now let's say for example moving averages or let's say for example pivot points or let's say we can use volume so these are also uh, some indicators which takes price and gives you the price okay so the input is price and the output is also a plain price only so uh, price action traders those who are using uh, price based indicators uh, are also called as price action traders and it can be used for any style of trading whether you are a scalper or day trader or swing trader or an investor price action trading is suitable now what are the tools of a price action trader now in general these are the tools which are used by a price action trader either you will be trading based on candlestick patterns like rejections or by looking at some engulfing patterns or by looking at some support and resistance levels reversals and breakouts or by looking at dow theories like higher highs higher lows lower li- lower lows and lower highs or by looking at pivot points or by looking at moving averages like 200 sma 200 day moving average or golden crossover so these are the common tools which are used by price action traders and as we know these are the uh, candlestick patterns which are primarily followed by a trader who follows only candlestick pattern and this is the support and resistance levels which is commonly used by price action traders and as i said earlier dow theory basically the higher high and higher low and when the last higher low is broken you no know, then we consider that the market is going to uh, be bearish so and this is the general concept of pivot point whenever the prices are above pivot line so basically we can see the blue color line so now let us look at the uh, general tools used by a price action trader so uh, in general uh, most of the price action traders will be following candlestick patterns they will be either looking at some rejections or engulfing patterns uh, in a higher time frame 
and uh, even some price action traders they will be following only uh, support and resistance level they will be looking at either breakouts or they will be looking at the reversals from the support and resistance levels or they will be focusing on dow theory like higher highs and higher low structures yeah. now let me show some images so these are the ca common candlestick patterns used by a price action trader and these candlestick patterns will be uh, checked in a higher time frame like weekly and daily charts and uh, this is a general support and resistance which is most commonly used by most of the traders and indeed support and resistance is also a price action tool used by most of the traders and this is the major concept uh, which is used by a price action trader which is dow theory so people will be looking at the series of higher highs and higher lows uh, to identify in which direction that particular instrument is getting traded and once the last higher low is getting broken now let me show you so here the prices are going higher and higher so when the last higher low is getting broken and that is the end of an uptrend and that's the beginning of a downtrend so yes. this is also most commonly used tool this dow theory is a most commonly used tool of a price action trader and then comes the pivot point so pivot point is a general indicator a uh, price action indicator which is used by most of the price action traders so basically when the prices are above pivot line it is expected to be bullish and generally whenever the prices are below pivot line the price the trend is expected to be bearish and whenever the prices are moving across the pivot line then it, the trend is expected to be sideways so price pivot is. point is basically a price action indicator which is commonly used by most of the price action traders and then moving average so in general people use 200 sma or 50 sma to identify the overall trend uh, so whenever a, a particular instrument is below 200 day simple moving average uh, it is expected to be in a downtrend and whenever uh, instrument is above 200 day period moving average that particular uh, instrument is expected to be uh, super bullish so these are the common tools uh, some we can call it as a traditional tools commonly used by price action traders so my uh, focus is primarily on a cpr indicator which is basically derived from the pivot points so before getting into cpr indicator let me have a general view about pivot points also so what is a pivot point a pivot point is a median line we can call it as a median line so whenever the it is derived by the uh, open high and low close of the previous day and the lines are plotted so this is the formula so when uh, this uh, we no need to calculate the pivot points using these formulas because ready-made indicators are available across all the trading platforms so when this pivot point is applied into your chart it will be looking like this so uh, in general whenever the prices are above pivot line it is expected to be bullish so a day trader will be focusing on long positions and whenever the prices are below pivot point a day trader will be focusing on short positions so this is the traditional usage of a pivot point so okay. uh, whenever a whenever a trader uses a pivot point this is the only information which we get if the prices okay. are above it's bullish if the prices are below it's bearish and if the prices are moving across pivot point then it is going to be range bound so this is the only information you get from the pivot points now i am using cpr indicator so this is the formula of uh, pivot point and uh, in general how people uh, uh, use uh, pivot points for trading is now let me uh, show you a small example of a, a trade taken based on pivot points alone so central pivot in in the in the cent in the central pivot point will be there so you will have a series of resistance on top and you will be having a series of supports at the bottom so whenever the prices are bouncing from the pivot line so once you get a a uh, green candle no you will be focusing on taking a long position with a stop loss below pivot pivot point and your initial target will be resistance 1 and your final target will be resistance 2 so basically your entry should be at the pivot point because that is the median line which shows who is having the control so this is the general usage of a pivot point and this is how traders take trades based on pivot point and this is for a reversal trade this reversal trade is uh, shown basically on uh, from the resistance 2 point but we can take a reversal trade at resistance 1 as well so i can take a short position at when the when there is a bear candle at resistance 2 with the stop loss above resistance 2 and i can take a short position below resistance 1 with the stop loss above resistance 1 and my target will be pivot point so that is for a uh, directional trade and this is for a reversal trade 
so this is the general usage of a pivot point by any trader now uh, i am using the cpr central pivot range so as i said earlier when we are using pivot point we get only one information either the trend is bullish or bearish or range bound so basically we understand only the trend by using the pivot point now the central pivot range which is, which is basically uh, uh, introduced by frank ochoa in his book secret of pivot boss so uh, i myself read read it from this book and i started exploring this particular indicator this gives you a, a lot of dimensions about the market trend as well as the direction so how this central pivot range is formed it's basically the normal pivot point formula but there is an additional formula for a top pivot line as well as a bottom pivot line and this is the formula you will you will uh, find out the bottom pivot by adding high and low divided by 2 and you will find out the uh, top pivot by uh, by applying this particular formula pivot minus bc basically this particular uh, level so pivot point minus bc plus pivot point so you will get the uh, top pivot level so why we are using this formula is we are we are getting three pivot lines okay so in a normal pivot point there will be only one pivot line which is used to identify only the trend but this is an upgraded version of a pivot point where it will have additional pivot line on top as well as from on the bottom so basically we will have a three pivot lines now this three pivot lines together is called as a central pivot range which is basically called as a cpr indicator or cpr levels now okay. the cpr the cpr indicator gives you a lot of dimensions to understand the trend like basically now uh, how this is how i use cpr indicator in my charts so cpr levels will be there and previous day high and low levels also will be there uh, i feel that previous day high and low levels also is equally important for a day trader and then there will be r1 resistance levels and support levels as usual in a pivot point okay so this is how my chart looks like okay there okay. will be a okay. so th there will be a central pivot line and there will be series of resistance levels and support levels on on the bottom and additionally i will be using this previous day high as well as low levels also so basically uh, i take this r1 and previous day high as a as a zone so resistance one and previous day high i collectively use it as a zone and this support one and previous day low i collectively use it as a uh, support level as a support zone Okay. All right, so this is how my chart will be looking like. Now, uh, now when we are using a pivot point, as I said earlier, we know only the trend. Apart from that, we never get any other information. But when we are using these three lines, the central pivot range, we get a wide uh, variety of understanding. Like uh, whenever the CPR is narrow, whenever the three lines are narrow, whenever the three lines are closer to each other like this, then that particular day is expected to be highly trending all right now uh, let us look at the previous example now look let us look at this particular day the three lines are little bit wider so that particular day is expected to be range bound whereas whenever the three lines are closer to each other that particular day is expected to be super bullish and yeah. you can uh, look at this particular uh, day also on 16th adani enterprises in 5 minutes chart this is a older example just i have attached for a example part so here we are having a very narrow cpr so that particular day is expected to be trending and we got a trending market but before that also there was a narrow cpr so on 12th there is a narrow cpr but that particular day was not trending then the next day is expected to be trending by ek minute ek minute uh, one minute uh, gomati bhai i okay. want to look at that also because my chart setup was some thing like hiding that thing yeah so now i can see that uh, 12th okay. chart yes. of uh, adani and it was yes. a narrow cpr but the yes. charts were highly uh, it was a sideways market kind of thing for adani and yes in the narrow cpr yeah okay yes so on 12th we are having a narrow cpr so it is expected okay. to be a trending market now on 12th it is not a trending market then the chances of a trending market for the next day is very very high okay okay so on 16th you 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 can see the volatility the prices went up and then it came back and again it it started going up so we basically we will get a trending market all right and uh, whenever the three lines are 
little bit wider then that particular day is expected to be range bound which means mm-hmm. the directional trader should stay away from that particular day and once again when the three lines are closer to each other then we can expect a trending market which is a day for a directional trader all right so this is one additional information which you get apart from the pivot point confirmation now basically in pivot point if the prices are above pivot then it is bullish if the prices are above pivot it is bullish if the prices are below pivot it is bearish this is the only information you get in a pivot point but here yeah. additionally you can get a second information which is it is going to be a trending market or it is going to be a range bound market right yeah now there is another information which you can uh, get from the cpr indicator so whenever the uh, cpr levels each and every day whenever it it goes up whenever it goes up which means a ascending cpr okay this is called as an ascending cpr which means the overall trend is also bullish all right so the overall trend is bullish so basically we have to stay with the trend and we should not take any uh, short position we should not take any opposite position if you are a directional trader hi guys aap yahan tak pahunche ho to i hope that you are liking the video the reason we are sharing these videos is so that trading community can get some strategies which are implementable in the live market most of the strategies that we see on youtube are always very basic and uh, practically not working in the live market that is why we are bringing the real traders uh, and shooting some great content with them the only way you can support us is by liking the videos by putting your comments and sharing it with the fellow traders and also do subscribe to our youtube channel to show your support to us thank you all right so this is an additional information which you, which is the third information you get uh, for, by using a cpr indicator and I, in a similar in, i yes. might be getting ahead of myself here i think yes. you might be coming to that point also but when we have known that this particular day is going to be let's say probability is that it is going to be trending uh, you might be using something else also to narrow down your entries also uh no uh, w- when we are uh, using the cpr indicator that itself is self sufficient now here i have shown on, applied only the cpr indicator when you add a resistance levels and previous day high low levels no it looks self sufficient okay okay now okay. since i have added only the cpr indicator it looks uh, difficult for your entry and exit part but mm-hmm. no worries i will tell in the later part okay okay Th- that's why i said I'm, i might be getting ahead of myself here yeah okay okay yeah <laughs> because so, at one time at one time uh-huh. okay uh, uh, even i i was using you know cpr i was trying to understand it i have explored many indicators okay. okay i have okay. finally zeroed in okay. on macd and rsi for myself but yes okay. at one time i was looking at cpr also so okay go ahead so this is one example of a descending cpr uh, so each and every day the cpr levels are coming lower and lower so basically the trend is expected to be uh, bearish yeah. so this yeah. is uh, one confirmation and when the three lines are closer to each other no then the chances of a trending market is very high so here it is a medium size cpr and here it is a wide cpr whenever the three lines many people ask me like is there any certain value for identifying wide and narrow what i would say is uh, your visual uh, represent, visual identification is more than enough so if there is no gaps between the three lines then it is narrow whenever you see a huge gap between the three lines then you can consider it as a wide and whenever you see a a little bit of lines between the uh, cpr levels then you can consider it as a medium cpr which means either it can be trending or it can be range bound market all right so here okay. you can see it is a medium c- medium size cpr because there is a little bit of gaps which we can see between the lines so we can expect a 50 50 chances of a trending market so okay uh, so these are the informations which you get by using a cpr indicator okay so yeah so here we got the first uh, trade opportunity now the second trade opportunity can be below daily cpr so basically when the prices are uh, trading below daily cpr we can go for a second trade opportunity we can go for a short position with a stop loss above uh, cpr and we can plan for a first target as s1 level and we can plan for a second target at uh, s2 level all right so 
uh, whenever the market is having a narrow CPR, it is expected to be trending and you will get multiple trade opportunities. You will get at least two trade up, uh, two entries. And in fact, you will, you may get three, four entries as well. Now, con if you consider this particular example, your first entry could be at R2 reversal. Your second entry could be at R1 reversal as well for a target of pivot point. CPR as a, as a target, you can go for a short entry at R2 as well as R1. And once again, you can go for a short entry below CPR, the, which could be your third entry. And once again, you can go for a short entry below S1, which could be a fourth entry. And once again, you can go for a short entry below S2, which could be a fifth entry. So narrow CPR is a day where you get multiple trade opportunity, multiple entries and exits you will be getting. All right. Now, I would like to show you the uh, example for today's Nifty. Now, let us have a quick look at uh, today's Nifty chart in five minutes. So today, this is Nifty's chart of uh, today's Nifty uh, monthly expiry chart, 28th March. Now, the first entry we got is above R1 and previous day high. So basically what I will do, I will go for a quick long position with my stop loss below uh, uh, R1. So here is, here is my stop loss basically. And my target is going to be R2, right? Now, in case if I miss, miss the entry, then I could uh, I could re-enter once again uh, above R2 level with my stop loss below R2. Now, in this case, the candle size is very big, so I cannot afford a bigger stop loss. So maybe we can skip this entry, but you are getting a, another entry opportunity above R3. So basically, I can take an entry at R3 with my stop loss below R3 and my target could be R4. So this is how a narrow CPR looks like. Now, today's monthly expiry in Nifty, I was expecting a trending market because yesterday we had a narrow CPR, but you can see, see uh, Nifty was not trending at all. It was stuck between the resistance 20, yeah. 2 and resistance 3, right? So the chances of a trending market is high today. Clear? So today we got a narrow CPR once again and the market was highly trending. Clear? Basically, this is a scalping method where you have to be very fast with your entries and exit. Uh, not basically scalping. You can do uh, trend riding as well. No, you can trail your stop losses or uh, yes, of course, it can be used for scalping as well. And you can ride the trend also whenever the there is an arrow CPR because it is expected to be uh, highly trending. So maybe but you can book your profits partially and you can ride the trend till the end. But how do you prefer it? Yes, uh, I prefer scalping basically because okay. uh, capturing the trend till the end uh, and that too in an intraday basis is not uh, possible every day. So yeah. I prefer scalping in these kind of narrow CPR days. Okay, so you uh, apply this particular method of CPR on options also? No, no. Uh, in options is only for entries and exits. It's This is basically applied in spot chart only. And in fact, okay. I never look at futures chart also. I look at only okay. the spot chart and I take direct, directly I take a trade in uh, options. Uh, okay. So let's say if you're getting a, a bullish entry here on the uh, reversal R1 point and you are seeing that the Nifty is clearly going above that point. So you will directly go and look at an ATM option and you will either buy it or you will either sell the put. Whatever yes, you yes, want. Yes. Correct. 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 Perfect. Okay. Yes. All right. So this is one example, uh, monthly expiry of Nifty, which was uh, now today, most of the non-directional traders were uh, uh, were losing their money in this kind of uh, uh, trending market day. So if they know a little bit of CPR indicator, they can even do directional option selling and they can uh, make some good money rather than being a non-directional guy by looking at this simple narrow CPR. And in fact, we are having an ascending CPR as well. All right. So, which basically means the trend is going to be bullish. Okay. So okay. this can be used to uh, enhance your uh, uh, trades. So narrow CPR is basically a trending day. Now, wide CPR. So here you can see uh, we are having a huge wide gap CPR. between the three lines. Yeah. So basically, it is a wide CPR, so it is going to be a sideways day. So it is not going to be a directional market. So these are the days which is more suitable for a non-directional trader. So these days okay. should be avoided by a directional trader. Now, now many, many people will ask this question. Can I take a long position here above CPR for a target R1? 
or can I take a short position below CPR for target uh, S1, S1? Basically, this is a very risky trade. T taking a directional trade on a wide CPR is basically risky. Maybe you can reduce your position into half and you can try your luck. Got it? So, uh, let's say there is an arrow CPR day. Now, previous day is an arrow CPR day. And you are, uh, let's say you are taking a position for 50% of your capital. Now, on a wide CPR day, rather than deploying 50% of your capital, maybe you can deploy 25% of your capital. So you can do the less position sizing on that. Yes, yes, yes. So, that, that either you can avoid or go with the lesser position sizing. That's it. Okay. All right. So, now how to trade using CPR? As I said earlier, whenever the prices are bouncing from the CPR levels, you can go for a long entry and you can book your partial profits at R1. Now, in case if you have not taken any entry at R1, uh, if you have not taken any entry at CPR, then maybe when the prices are breaking the resistance one, you can take your fresh entry and fresh you can entry. aim for a target R2. Now, in case if you are seeing a reversal at R2, you can go for a short entry and you can book your profits at R1. Now, in case if you are looking at a reversal at R R1, then you can go for a short entry and you can book your targets at CPR level. So e very e very. I I uh, sorry, I'm cutting you because my mind was going on in It was going on in my mind right now. That okay. easiest way to look at it is ki, uh, for example, let's say the CPR are narrow, and yes. you are expecting a bullish day. So. Once the CPR touches the so once the price touches the CPR, that is the central pivot range. Yes, yes. If we get a bounce and a green candle, that is the time to go bullish with a small stop. Yes, yes, yes. Simil correct. Similarly, if it is touching the resistance line, we don't ha have to enter at the green candle, but once at that point it is forming a red candle, yes, we can take that as a uh, signal that it is taking resistance there, and we can just go ahead with a small stop loss. And even if that stop loss is hit with a green candle, we have to be ready to reverse our position with a small stop loss to the buying side. Correct, correct, correct. Absolutely. Because in hindsight, it might be very much difficult to. It it might be very easy to say ki resistance ke you have to sell and support ke you have to buy. But true, uh, true. our clue should be ki if we are going to sell on resistance, look for the first red candle. If you are going to buy, look for one green candle above that point. True. Now here, uh, this particular uh, reversal trades, no, it works best if the overall trend is also weak. So I, I okay. use basically like this. I never take a trade only based on this 5 minute CPR and candles uh, formation. I used to uh, uh, compare with the, uh, with the hourly chart and I used to compare with the daily chart as well. Now, uh, very quickly, let me show my chart layout. So this is how my chart layout basically looks like. Okay, now let me turn on the uh, indicator labels. All right. So this is how basically my chart layout looks like. So here you can see five minutes chart where I have applied the daily CPR thing. And here you can see the hourly time frame where I have applied the weekly CPR thing, which is basically calculated based on the previous week high and low close. Okay. And here on the right hand side, you can see the daily time frame where I have applied the monthly CPR thing, which is basically calculated based on the previous month high, low and close. You got it right. You have gone in between the time frames to in between the time frames. On the basis of daily charts, you are plotting the monthly CPR so that you can get a point that whether I'm standing on a, a monthly central pivot range on the yes. day that I'm trading. So yes, whether that point is good for a reversal or not. Yes, yes, correct. You are right. Now today, if you, now let's take today as an example. Now today, when Nifty is uh, Nifty is above uh, daily CP above previous day high, right? So basically, it is it is bullish for day, intraday. Now, if you check in hourly time frame, in hourly time frame, it is already above the weekly CPR. See, in, in five minutes chart, we are using daily CPR. How it's calculated based on previous day high, low, and close. Now, in hourly chart, I'm using weekly CPR, and it is calculated based on previous week high, low, and close. In daily chart, I'm using CPR based on the previous month high, low and close levels. So I am deriving CPR in different, different time frames based on their uh, characteristics. So okay. now today when Nifty was above previous day high, 
it was well above previous week high as well and it is above weekly cpr and at the same time in daily time frame it is already above monthly cpr so all the three, three time frames are bullish so even though there is a reversal trade from r4 or even though there is a reversal trade from r3 i will not take a reversal trade i will not take a short position you got it right yeah so but but if but if let's suppose this um, daily chart yes this green candle was somewhere below the blue cpr yes then you would have taken it yeah correct exactly exactly yeah you got my point yes so this is how a reversal trade should be planned along with the higher time frames but then you have to study this thing beforehand you have to prepare it the previous day before coming into the market also uh no basically uh, when you uh, when you uh, apply this three chart layout in uh, trading view and if you are sitting in the market no uh, as soon as the market opens you will get a glimpse as whether it is above weekly cpr now okay. let let's let's take today as an example no uh, today the market opened around this previous day high level let me mark it uh, mark it as a zone which is which is already above previous week high no which is already a, so just having a quick visual uh, appearance it's is more than enough so yeah, the but prices the, but the but, but the people who say ki at the end of the day around 2:30 pm the fall was very quick quick on yes. the hourly chart we were already standing at a second resistance level correct 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 and correct. on the daily charts we were setting we were standing sitting at, at the first resistance correct yes yes yeah so that means so this sense. is the importance of booking your profits now let's say if i if i'm a if I, let's say i'm a swing trader and i am taking trade based on hourly chart then i should have supposed to exit at r1 r2 sorry weekly r2 got it okay yeah let's say if i am a swing trader i am focusing only on hourly chart then i would have taken a trade here above r1 i would have placed my stop loss below r1 and i should have exited at r2 i need to understand this uh, time frame uh, uh, thing with you when you are trading no, on the five minute having... time frame yes i am having a, a slide for that okay, okay. Uh, let me show the time frame settings over here here this is the time frame cpr settings uh, to be used yeah five minute charts ke upar you are looking at daily cpr hourly charts ke upar you are looking at the weekly cpr and daily charts ke upar you are looking at the monthly cpr yes basically uh, daily uh, in uh, daily cpr is calculated based on previous day high low close level hmm. weekly cpr is calculated based on previous week high low close level and monthly cpr is calculated based on previous month high low close level that's all very simple uh one thing i need to understand from you these okay. all all calculations that cpr and um, uh, we have to use um weekly cpr on the hourly cpr or we have to use the monthly cpr on the daily chart daily yes these yes. are the settings that you have found over a period of time or this is how cpr was supposed to work no actually the, this settings was uh, I, i used it personally okay this okay. was it, it was actually not present in the book i myself okay. understood in this way and i started applying it and it was doing a lot of wonders because i i remember i have i use emi broker okay and uh, i use uh, this trading view also but i use emi broker and in emi broker i have that cpr AF, afl with me okay. and it plots all the kind of you know uh, previous day low previous day high previous day cpr monthly okay. cpr week, weekly cpr theek okay? hai but okay. till now i didn't know uh, how the intricacies of the time frame worked with it at what okay. time frame i have to look at what thing that Got that's it. why this particular question yes 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 you're right this uh, i i have dissected uh, into different time frames uh, using okay. uh, different cprs and that's okay. how i have i have i'm take, taking trades all right now it's now everything is clear right and this yeah. uh, CP, the cpr settings are already available in trading view we can basically switch off and switch on the levels whichever we need it so you have made this indicator free for all in trading yes view. yes yes it's it's available in, in public library if somebody searches okay. for cpr by kgs no they will get my indicator okay and another question uh, so this is all about cpr yes yes so now yes. i can ask my questions then now this is all about cpr and we have the multi time frame analysis like how okay. to understand the trend as early as possible now let's say for example let me come back to the uh, adani hindenburg issue 
okay okay now well before the hindenburg uh, report was published now hindenburg report was published on jan 24 2023 but before jan 24 2023 in the month of january the first week itself it was below monthly cpr so basi basically this is a daily time frame okay and i have applied monthly cpr so it was already below monthly cpr which indicates the entire month is going to be bearish all right wow that's really nice so if one gets an idea that yes. this particular month is going to be a bearish month yes we can do all kinds of thing on that stock yes. if there is a rough idea exactly exactly now what i used to do is i mark a zone at this monthly cpr okay now i i, I will say how i am using this cpr indicator i basically mark a zone okay uh, like this i mark a zone at this monthly cpr and i will be checking that in lower time frames okay now let let me show you uh, let me come back to the multi time frame analysis yeah here it is now this hadani enterprises it broke the monthly cpr on december 23 2022 also okay and in uh, and in january also it was below monthly it was below monthly cpr now uh, better i will show it in the charts or even i can show this current uh, current month as an example let us take current month as an example in adani enterprises so adani enterprises it was uh, it was trading above monthly cpr at the start of this month right now what i will do i will draw a zone at the monthly cpr and i will synchronize that in all the time frames clear now what i am trying to do is i am trying to identify the trend in adani enterprises as early as possible now this is where now in the month of march this is where you can this this zone is the monthly cpr right now this zone is monthly cpr now before monthly cpr is broken down i can see weekly cpr is broken in this hourly candle so basically which means before well before monthly cpr was broken in adani enterprises this month it has broken the weekly cpr in hourly in, in hourly time frame now let me give a different color for this so in hourly weekly, time frame weekly cpr you was have, you will have to slow down at the sync part when you sync the monthly cpr okay. to the whole chart layout actually okay. what happened now when i synchronize this uh, monthly cpr to the whole chart layout what happens no i get a better understanding now uh, now let's say i am on uh, let's say i am on the Uh, is it of something march. is it something like that you are working on a 5 minute time frame but on your chart you get a point where the monthly cpr is something like that yes yes correct correct okay so that's no, what I, the synchronization is no no uh, what i wanted to uh, what i wanted to do is i wanted to capture the trend as early as possible now if you see on ch in the in the daily chart now let me come to daily time frame in daily time frame the monthly cpr is clearly broken on 12th of march only am i right yeah on 12th of march only the candle has broken the monthly cpr completely now i wanted to capture the bearish trend well before 12th of march and that is the reason i am coming to hourly chart with weekly cpr now if you see this is that uh, this is this is where 12th of march monthly cpr was broken you can see over here this is 12th of march monthly cpr that yellow color zone is broken but okay. well before monthly cpr is broken in 12th of march weekly cpr was broken over here okay which is on uh, 6th of march so 6th of march itself bears have taken some control got it since weekly yeah. cpr is broken monthly cpr was broken easily it's like it's like a uh, it's like a different different support levels you can consider yeah. this week, weekly cpr as a support one yeah. and monthly cpr as a support two so support one was broken that's why support two is also broken so let's say if 3260 is the monthly cpr and at the same point around 3260 point a weekly cpr is also getting broken that is a signal to us that boss Uh, this uh, stock price is going down and then we can shift to the smaller time frame let's say we uh, hourly chart yes. and if 
if on the hourly chart because on our hourly charts we are getting the weekly time frame cpr we yes. are getting some type of r2 and from there the reversal is coming we can actually time it down yes. and take yes. our yes yes but it's better to use when the weekly cpr is broken down rather than taking a reversal trade around r r1 r2 yeah that might not come but i think that is the whole point of uh, doing time frame within time frame type type of thing correct 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 okay 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 because so if we... at first if if at first glimpse somebody will look at these many lines he will just get confused ki ho kya raha hai yahan pe what is happening here <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yes i now, have one more we... observation because when yes. i was looking at uh, cpr during my time one okay. thing i also observed which i think you are also confirming here when at a particular point a lot of cprs are converging that becomes a very good resistance and chances are that the market is going to remain below that point for some time for example in this chart here Around okay. thirty to seventy levels, there are approximately three to four blue CPRs that are merging here in the month of yeah. eleven to eighteen. Then in yes. the month month of March, so this becomes a very great resistance thing. Yeah, I correct. have a very uh, because at that time when I was studying about CPR, I had some great observations. One okay. is that CPR point is where the VWAP is also there. Okay. Okay. and previous day cpr is also where the previous day vwap is there okay okay so actually uh, actually moving averages also will be matching perfectly with cpr yeah yeah so it actually makes sense and so uh, if let's say uh, the central pivot range is getting narrower it okay. also means it it can also mean that price for the last few days have been has been forming A narrow okay. range like N R N R four or N R seven kind correct, of thing. Correct, so correct, correct, correct. Absolutely. So absolutely. the breakout is imminent. Yes, yes. So breakout is imminent. Yeah. But but Rohit, if you uh, if you recall uh, before five five years or six years, no. Uh, though people know N R four or N R seven, very less number of people used to follow that. Nobody followed N R four or N R seven. It 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 actually adds a dimension to it because now. uh when we are look uh, uh, i was never fond of pivot points to be very frank with you theek hai because <laughs> okay. in my initial days i was never theek hai we used to uh, read about camarilla pivots theek hai we used okay. to read about uh, normal pivot points theek hai the okay. usual question uh, as an ignorant in my mind was how can a mathematical formula decide that okay. what is going to act as an r1 and an r2 s1 or an s2 with time i got to understand that if 100 people are using technical analysis and out of that 60 mm-hmm. people are using pivot points that automatically validates the theory that why the pivot points or let's say even the gan analysis or fibonacci or astrology is also working because at least there are some people who are giving support to it theek hai yes yes so yes that yes. got covered there theek hai but yes. using pivot using pivot we get one very nice thing that we are exactly getting where we are getting an entry and where we have to book the profit correct 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 and correct. at what point we are actually looking for a support for a, or we are looking for a resist resistance or reversal that kind of thing so that that's nice that's nice yes yes okay So this is how it has to be used. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Over to you again. Yes. So basically, I have covered the strategy itself uh, okay. uh, through our discussion. Uh, so this is how I look at the C. Uh, this is how I apply personally uh, the CPR indicator. So I will be looking at. I will be drawing. I will be checking the monthly CPR. So whenever daily CPR is broken, now let, let me come back to that particular section. Whenever daily CPR is broken, uh, we have to be alert that. very soon weekly cpr will be broken it's it's like a uh, step wise confirmation now let me come back to nifty as an example it's like a moving average going up <laughs> correct 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 exactly exactly so whenever a daily cpr is broken up or down it's like a confirmation for us that we have to be alert that any time weekly cpr will can be broken any time this monthly cpr also can be broken now uh, let me show you over here uh so let's come to this particular day uh, maybe 20th of march so on 19th of march the prices were trading below the daily cpr in 5 minutes time frame now if you look at the next day 20th of march the candles are breaking the weekly cpr uh, daily cpr on the 
uh, upside so you have to be very cautious that any time the market can come up it's it's like a it's like a it's like bulls are uh, coming coming and they are showing their control they are they are, why, they are why, once again why can you repeat this point why, it, yes. um, why so it, see uh, see uh, now le le let me draw a zone see here uh, let let me compare 5 minutes chart and hourly chart okay for better understanding okay now see on now i want you to focus on 20th march in 5 minutes chart as well as in hourly chart okay now okay. in hourly chart the prices are below weekly cpr am i right yeah now yeah. on 20th march the prices are below weekly cpr correct and it is below is a previous day low as well yeah now you here you can see the reversal part no the prices are reversing from previous day low and s1 mm -hmm. as well yeah and the prices are coming above daily cpr am i right now yeah once the prices are coming up now once the prices now the prices can reverse from s2 the prices can reverse from s1 but when the cpr is broken totally on the upside it's like a warning sign that you should stop shorting the market so what you want to say is that when we are trading below a certain cpr and it is trending that is a trend in that direction yes if so if the market on... reverse if the market reverse here around to 12 o'clock and it yes. completely broke the daily cpr to the upper side completely because there are three or four candles that are forming correct now correct. short trend is over on that time frame exactly exactly okay on that time frame the short trend is over and even in higher time frame it's better to book your profits if you are if you have taken a short and you should avoid taking any fresh entries because now that the candles have completely broken the cpr in 5 minutes there are higher chances bulls can break weekly cpr also which is basically this particular zone because we can expect a trend reversal now market exactly. will mean reverse or change it trend at that particular point but exactly exactly but so you are getting a, a earlier confirmation you are getting a, a very good early confirmation so what should be done in higher time frames as well and what should be done in a lower time frame okay that makes sense but my question is that uh, now i now let's let's compare 22nd okay. march okay uh, tw uh, let's compare 22nd march as well as 26th march okay okay now lo look at 5 minutes chart in 5 minutes chart on 22nd march the friday the cpr is broken on the upside totally mm -hmm. and let me uh, synchronize that in hourly chart as well so basically you can see the friday here correct hmm. so here daily cpr is totally broken on the upside which means bulls are taking control, control. at any yeah. any time this weekly cpr also can be broken so run away from taking short position and focus on long position only okay so whenever a daily cpr is broken it's like a trend reversal you have to understand something is going to some change is going to happen in higher time frame as well because markets cannot keep on going in one direction and correct if correct. if the trend correct. is going to change it is going to transcend from the smaller time frame to the higher time frame and then to the higher time frame so correct 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 okay, okay. okay. now on the next day also on the next day also when the prices are coming below daily cpr it's wise to not take a short position see here okay the pri the yeah. prices are in the prices are inside cpr so basically it's like a no direction only so you have to avoid taking any trades now now check check out the uh, check out this tuesday as well as we are hourly chart as well as 5 minutes chart see on 26 the prices are inside cpr so basically it, it, there is no direction for intraday but now in 26 in hourly chart the prices started to come above weekly cpr now, if you see so far the last week, the prices were below weekly CPR. Now they started to come above weekly CPR. Got it? So as a as a beginner, to one should avoid it now. Yes, yes. Now, as, as, as a, a beginner, beginner in, in five minutes chart, as a beginner, you should avoid. But let's say you are a swing trader. 
let's say you are a swing trader you are a you are a pos you are a positional trader let's say you are taking a trade for the weekly expiry or for the next week expiry you will be anticipating a bullish trend and and very well you can see a bullish candle close above the weekly cpr look at the third hourly candle okay but but uh, uh, shankar my question is that you have been doing it for a long time yes okay? yes so uh, it it's like a it's like a office for you okay it's yes. like your personal space for you okay so yes. no matter what type of mess you create on this chart it is not going to be any puzzling for you what is happening how many charts you are opening okay okay for me i'll get used to it in that say 7 or 8 days once i have been completely using it okay, okay. but what do you say to a particular person who is new to the cpr and he is going to apply it into the intraday trading markets he is going to trade intraday what do you suggest okay. to him okay for a for a newbie what i will suggest is don't use cpr in 5 minutes chart in initially the first 3 months what i would advise is you focus on monthly cpr with daily chart also okay first 3 months at least or if you are focusing on daily chart with monthly cpr for if we were talking about the monthly charts the monthly and the daily yes uh, so so yeah. if a if a newbie who is entering into uh, the cpr indicator segment what i would advise is try to use it in monthly cpr with daily chart uh, take trades for swing trade based on daily chart using monthly cpr for next 6 months at least uh, but but that will be very difficult now because uh, in cpr we are going to get short trades also we are going to get long trades also okay so if he is taking short trades he will have to do it on the fno section which might be little risky for him okay because he will have to do it through futures okay so isn't because meri because your advice was actually totally opposite to what i was thinking i was thinking that i am an intraday trader i might be bringing in let's say 50000 no if see if you are short the market okay. i can short the market i can i can uh, be a bullish buyer also but anyways whatever you suggest you are saying that it should be done with um, uh, no why i am saying to start with the higher time frame no most of the people will confuse between you using all the three uh, cpr yeah. levels in three different time frames that thing i understand because he gets that one hour time to at least decide and <laughs> understand understand ki usko at least how he has to put on the brakes how he has to take up the yes. speed and everything else yeah yes yes that i understand now now uh, uh, now let me try to keep it as simple as possible now last week nifty reversed from previous day low previous week low as well as s1 right over here so basically you can see this uh, this red color line is s1 uh, weekly s1 level weekly resistance yeah. one level and this black color line is previous week low level all right so the prices are reversing from previous week low and s1 level so basically what is what trade should we take we should focus on long position because it's reversing right now let me synchronize this zone s1 previous week low zone in a daily chart and you can see the prices are below monthly cpr yeah now what i will do until and unless the bear candles are below s1 and previous week low i will not go for a short position okay do monthly cpr is broken <laughs> i think you are confused <laughs> uh this is going to be confusing uh monthly cpr uh, is at this particular point 22000 okay i will do one thing uh, i will i will draw a single support line at the bottom cpr okay okay so the bottom cpr line is uh, around 21913 okay so let me draw a line okay so i have draw drawn a line at the bottom cpr and okay. now let me synchronize that okay i have synchronized that line in hourly chart so you can see 21 913 okay okay so now what i will do uh, i will i will check hourly chart over here monthly cpr is broken am i right yeah but you have to understand that s1 and previous week low this is a zone where reversal can happen am i right yeah only if this zone is broken down completely you will consider the trend is bearish we can get a red candle actually below it yes we need a red candle below it 
but okay so you should not take a short position by looking at this bear candle thinking that monthly cpr is broken you have to respect the hourly weekly cpr levels also so okay. ideally i did uh, so what i did is i did not take a short position once the monthly cpr is broken this is the trade which i took last week and i posted it in twitter as well so monthly cpr was broken but i did not go for a short position instead what i did as soon as the prices started to reverse from s1 i started to sell put options i start i i took credit spread okay because i knew very well there are higher chances it will reverse from s1 and previous week low okay now i got it so basically even though if monthly cpr is broken you have to cross check with the weekly cpr level and you have to check if there is any reversal levels but if the person is coming for uh, let's say he is going into intraday then it is better that he should trade it with the direction of the trend itself yes now if in case if i am a day trader i have to check all the th three time frames and i have to take a decision so uh, so that's what i said no a person who is new to the cpr indicator and this multi time frame analysis definitely he will mess it up but uh, then again uh, uh, shankar i have a question here okay yes uh, yes right now we are just talking about nifty and there are so many stocks so if somebody yes. has to prepare that i'm going to let's look at three stocks tomorrow and i'm going to use cpr on that for intraday trend following okay how can that person uh, decide ki okay tomorrow these are the three stocks that i'm going to focus on because cpr is saying so okay so basically what i would uh, say to most of the uh, traders no you select any stock manually based on simple support and resistance now uh, let me take any random stock let me take itc or any other stock okay any random stock try to draw the support and resistance levels or uh, recently i had observation in kotak so let me take kotak mahindra bank okay, okay so at a support level yes so kotak mahindra bank is at a uh, very good support level it is reversing from a very strong support level so basically this is a very strong support level for kotak mahindra bank and it has not broken for almost past 3 4 years now let me come to daily chart now now as per daily chart you can see over here a, a channel has been broken down uh, broken on the upside right from here to here no basically a channel has been broken on the upside so now i am having a now let's say i have selected a kotak mahindra bank based on simple support resistance trend lines now i am having a bullish view as per my analysis so now what i need i want this kotak mahindra bank to trade above day if i am a day trader i want kotak mahindra bank to trade above daily cpr every day and i will focus only on long opportunity so i will come to 5 minutes chart okay and i will focus only on long opportunity and i want kotak mahindra bank to trade above month daily cpr in case if kotak mahindra bank is trading below daily cpr and if it is falling i will not take a shot okay it's very simple because yeah makes sense right yeah it makes sense now yes so you can select any stock do your analysis and be prepared in that way now let's say i am a swing trader i am not a day trader i am a swing trader then i will use only hourly chart i will use hourly chart and i want the candles to trade above weekly cpr very simple so if the prices are above weekly cpr then i am going for a long position because already i am having a long view in my as per my analysis so above weekly cpr i will go for a long i will book my targets at r1 previous week low so a previous week high zone very simple in case if it is coming below this weekly cpr i will not go for a short because i am not having a bearish view okay fine samajh gaya got that That I will the, I will plan for a short in Kotak Mahindra Bank in case if this support level is broken. Okay, so yeah, so uh, uh, broadly we have to just stay with the trend even with the CPR and we have to take that Correct. type of trade. So it's, right, it's very simple. So if let's Correct. say if if today the Reliance stock is at its at its resistance, we okay. can look at where the CPR is conver uh, converging for the last three four days, and if the price is below that, you just start looking for the short opportunities on that with the proper stop loss. Yes, 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 true. now uh, let us analyze the lines let us take let us consider that this is a resistance zone 
okay so this is a resistance zone in reliance now let's say i am expecting a reversal from that resistance zone now what i will do i will look for a reversal trade as you said so basically when the prices are coming below previous day high i can go for a short okay got it actually the concept is very simple one just has to get accustomed with the nuances of it yes yes so that's actually about it. actually this month uh, uh, reliance was having a very narrow monthly cpr i was expecting yeah. a trending month in reliance but what happened reliance was trading inside previous month high low itself basically this is a range bound market only so yeah, maybe it was it was at its it broke its high and then it you know again came back into the narrow range and i was Correct. thinking that if it if it started going up nifty will fly and nifty ko yes. dekh ke it was it was feeling like they are planning to take it nowhere actually yes so basically reliance had a narrow monthly cpr to uh, this month this month should be trending for reliance since this month reliance was not trending now the chances of a trending month for april is very high for reliance okay provided where it trades above or below cpr correct correct now you got okay. the point so i think we have covered most of the things yes uh, most of the things are covered this is what i had in my presentation so whatever basically is left, whatever yes. is left, for for that i am going to tag you in the description also and <laughs> i'll ask everybody to that this is going to be little bit of complicated for you i have studied cpr in the past so i was able to grasp what gomati was saying uh with some attention so if you have any queries just uh, you know tag uh, gomati i will put his uh, channel link in the description and he can you know take over the answers himself definitely so, definitely i will yeah do so thanks a lot gomati it was really an eye opener session for me because i have used cpr somewhere but this is the first time i did a deep dive into the topic first uh, myself <laughs> all right thank you rohit so bhai. thanks a lot okay Thank you thank you Rohit bhai thank you for having me thank you bye